Am I really ditching a Real Engine 5? No. Unreal Engine 5 has some amazing innovations that are definitely going to change the industry. But Unreal Engine 4.27 is still a production ready environment. In January of this year, I discovered a project called NVRTX, which is NVIDIA Builds of Unreal Engine 4. And they had published a version with real time caustics. Back in 2011, a wonderful artist named Evan Wallace published an online WebGL demo demonstrating the same use case of mesh caustics live in a browser that was interactive. This was really impressive to me as well. Now, NVIDIA has just integrated this into the ray tracing technology of Unreal Engine 4.27. I had forgotten about the project until recently when Corridor Digital published their own video about rendering caustics in Octane's newest photon tracer, which even then, after going into the depth of why it's hard to render caustics, demonstrated that it still took hours and hours on a computer with a 3090 to render correct caustics for even short sequences of animation. After watching that, I remembered the NVIDIA builds and decided to take a look at GitHub and discovered that there was a 4.27 build of Unreal with caustics. This got me really excited and I decided to explore it a little bit more. I have found and am very satisfied with the results that NVIDIA has produced inside of their caustics build. And so in this tutorial series, we're going to have four parts which cover how to install Visual Studio and compile your own build of Unreal Engine with NVIDIA caustics, how to set up your project settings and post process volume, then we'll move into the materials, setting up your lights correctly, and building your scene. Then from there, we'll jump into the sequencer, drop your project into that, and we will be rendering out an animation. We will also cover some of the console variables that are really common, as well as some of the ones that I use all the time, and where you can find my presets and use them in your own project. I'm also going to be covering the little tips and tricks, the errors that I ran into, and how to get past them. I am so impressed with NVIDIA's innovations with mesh caustics and water caustics. And I'm really excited to produce um, future tutorials on this as well in a more advanced section. I hope that you really enjoyed this tutorial, and without further ado, let's get started.